Peace everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's the Reaction Overlord. We're back with another video. Okay, so we're going to be reacting to Screen Junkies Honest Trailers again. And this one we're going to be reacting to Black Adam. So I haven't checked it out. If you haven't, we're about to watch it together. And as always, I give y'all my little commentary and I give y'all my thoughts at the end. Alright, let's check it out. finally faces off against whoever these guys are in a film whose biggest selling point is the after credit scene whoa the rock is gonna fight superman he's gone <laughs> black adam slow down the old noggin for a superhero flick that asks nothing of his audience but to open up and say where the themes never get deeper than talk versus punch fighting what's all this i disagree with me too Characters blurt out the backs of their own trading cards. The nanobots were injected into my bloodstream. That is really muscle scientist. You kidnapped me when I was 15. And you can feel the screenwriter writing. Put something better here later than never going back for a second draft. Our mission is to protect global stability. We're here to restore peace to Kandak. And we will use force if necessary. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Expose me, baby. <laughs> Intergay has taken over Kandak for its precious Eternium. Now, Black Adam will come out of his cave to stop them. But this resurrected Middle Eastern savior is less Jesus and more Zeus Zeus. As Black Adam rises to the top oh, of the DC universe's hierarchy of power, totally a thing. And just keeps on rising. And rising. Until he's a video game character with infinite health and five stars on GTA. <laughs> no point in fighting. No, no, no one can stop me. Yeah, we know. We just end the movie then. Turn to ancient times when the legend of Tadatta began and beat a young boy destined to become the people's champion and perhaps some yeah, they really did fool you think that little boy was one guiding them all under the symbol of Rockefeller Records in a series of fake out flashbacks that are supposed to make you think this kid is young Black Adam right. but the twist gets spoiled when they keep showing the rock right next to him there that's you Dwayne you can still tell it's you when you're facing away. No one else looks that much like a really buff hot dog. <laughs> Fighting him is the Justice Society. Repeatedly. Until everyone gets bored with the idea. How long are we gonna keep doing this? They're a crack team of whoever Amanda Waller can get on the phone. There's Hawkman. A billionaire crime fighter that Bruce Wayne just kind of forgot about when he was putting the Justice League together. Right. Dr. Fate. A mystic who gets all hot and bothered whenever he rubs the tip of his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Smasher, a bubbling oaf you bring along if you really need the locals to hate you. I am so sorry, was that expensive? But like his uncle says, hey, forget about it. Uh, and Maxine, a manic pixie dream tornado with all the powers and charm of a human vape. Meanwhile, among the mere mortals, there's Adriana. She can read. Men are given the gift of magic. <laughs> Wrath of gods, sexy mortal elders by name. And this is the only path to life. This big guy, he can sing. Let it come back! Oh, God. And come on, he's so cool to the max, he has seven different skateboards. Me, this do over a Freddie Freeman from Shazam with less charisma. Right, I thought so too. Change your name. His name is uh, Captain Sparkle Fingers. No, it's not. No, it's not. A kid who knows all the DC heroes except Shazam. Nobody ever mentioned Shazam. Superman, Batman, Aquaman, you're way more stacked than any of them. Right. And in the year of our Lord 2022, he's still doing the let's work on your catchphrase joke. Tell them the men in black sent you. Well, yes, but 
not to me. Say to the bad guys. But before you zap them. Nailed it. And just in time for the 30 year anniversary of Terminator 2. But still, good job. And if you want to shine them on, it's hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> So even though the hierarchy of the DC Universe has actually changed, sending the rock into full-blown damage control mode... Our margins don't live and die by box office numbers. It has long, uh, um, very long, uh, tentacles. And most of the DCEU died on the way back to their home planets. Make room for a meat and potato story mm. that gets the job done. Appears Brosnan, who's only getting more easy on the eyes. And most importantly, it's got just enough PG-13 brutality to give grown men an alibi for watching a $400 million cartoon. See there, honey? You hit that other man's arm off. Only big boys are allowed to see that. Now let's go get you a video game on the way home. What do you say? Star Age. Wait, the Kool-Aid Man Johnson. <laughs> Oh yeah, Cash Money's Birdman, Gold Bond, Medicated Powers, Can't Man, Halle Barely, <laughs> Laura Soft, the anti anti hero. So wait, the hero? I rid myself today to see if I still feel. And the Snyder Cuts. Right, all that damn slow motion. Adam ruins everything. <laughs> oh man. He said Holly barely. And and uh Tef Adam was walking through the all the walls, like the Kool-Aid man for back in the day. Remember the Kool-Aid man used to be busting through the walls and stuff. Like, but um, yeah, I like these. Just like the Hishi videos, and just like the pitch meeting videos. I'm gonna start reacting more to these because I like them. I think they're good. I think they're funny. So, but that's just my opinion. What do y'all think? Let me know. Make sure you have to like subscribe and hit the bell. I'll see you next time. Peace.